In the case of a no-start, you may have to remove the burner head to service your heater. The number one service on the heater is, of course, the nozzle, and the nozzle will keep the heater from starting also. So by this time, you've already replaced your nozzle, which we've covered in an earlier video. At this point in time, we're going to look at your ignition. There is a gapping tool to check the, the gap on your electrodes. The gapping tool is purchased when you actually purchase the electrodes. To use the gapping tool, the gapping tool gets pressed up against the nozzle. The electrodes sit flush in the gapping tool up against the tine in the center. If the gapping is right on your heater, you may have to test the coil. The coil you need to unplug, which we have pre-prepped for this to save for time. You unplug the coil from the ECU. The coil has three wires, red, white, and brown. Brown is the ground. Red is 24 volts. The white is a trigger wire. In order to ignite the coil, you take a jumper wire and jump brown to white. And you will see the ignition. This is not intended to hold the spark there. This is just intended for testing reasons. Please take special care because that is 20,000 volts at the tip of the electrodes and should be done by a trained technician. If you have a bad spark, if your spark is carried away from the tip, if your spark is actually across the back side of the electrodes, the electrodes must be replaced. If you have no spark, you may have to replace the coil. Thank you very much.